Hey guys, behind this door is the culprit. There is a cooktop that is almost unusable behind this door. And today I'm going to change all that because I have a Blackstone grill that we love at home. And uh, I bought a smaller version uh, we have, the, I think, the 22-inch at home, and the smaller version is a 17-inch. And according to my measurements, it will fit right behind this door. And so we're going to attempt to make that change today. This right here is the cooking surface. Now, I'm not exactly crazy about it. It's got this, these lift out like this. This is nice. Kind of protects your area back here. All right, but here's the thing. We like to griddle things, like eggs and stuff like that. Well, when you get a griddle plate, it's about that long something like maybe 16 inches uh, by maybe 12 inches but if you put it on here it's going to cover up these two knobs right here and they're going to overheat and probably melt you can't get in there to adjust them underneath the griddle so I've heard different uh, blogs and things like that that they replace this right here with a uh, griddle that is the Blackstone 17 inch griddle and so I'm going to try to do that today and see how that works I have found by measuring in here that actually this right here could be moved up to about right here and you would have that extra space right there because uh, it it, it has a it's something like that right there from the floor from the bottom down here to the bottom of the stove is about 13 inches so I think I can make use of that space and we'll see how that goes this one push down this one you push up and it allows this to come out like that So in here, when I reach in here, I've got a lot of space in here. In fact, if I take this in here and measure up to the bottom of the stove, it's actually about 13 and a quarter. So if I make this about 12 inches, from right here it's 3 inches, so that means that right here is 9. That means that I can put the bottom of this board right there. So I can move this up to here and then cut this out. And if I'm not mistaken, there's some screws in the back here that have the kind of angled hole drilled there. And I think I can unscrew those and uh, Take, just drop this out. It's probably stapled here, but I can probably, probably pop that loose. Now this is a 17 inch griddle that I ordered on Amazon. I'll put a link below. Uh, I already have the 22 inch, but it's too big to fit in here. So I really like it. Uh, this really gets nice and hot here. Uh, this has the uh, one control here, uh, but I think I can adapt this to fit in my unit back here. All right, this is a total of 17, say 17 and a half inches wide, and to the top of the feet is six inches, and it is with a knob, oh, about 19 inches deep. Right here is about. 20 inches, so 17 
and a half inches will easily fit there. Uh, if I mount the plywood here, I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, and if I cut it to right here, we shouldn't have any problem at all fitting that six inches in there. I gotta make sure that the depth is right. And uh, I have out here to the end, I have 19 inches, so that's plenty deep. That'll work perfectly. All right, so what I'll do, I'll cut my piece of plywood. It will be 17 inches by, I put that from here. Uh, that looks like it will be. 19 and three quarters. 19 and three quarters ought to do it. Reverse it. Okay. Okay. I was able to salvage this old shelf out of a old building I used to own and uh, it's got a nice finish on it kind of matches everything and I'll cut it to fit and we'll see how that works out so that's the depth of it Okay, we'll give this a test fit. This back out here. Okay. Looks like that works. Okay, so that works. Now I've got to cut this up here and move this strip right up here. Make sure it sits on here okay. And it does. Alright, right now I am removing these screws in here. get this little trim off. I'm going to try to attempt to cut this. All right, so that's that. It's not exactly a neat line, but it doesn't have to be. All right, this is trash. This will be stapled back. This will be put in here like this. Like that. And so let's put the drawer in here and see how that fits. It's pretty hot out today. It's about 90 degrees out here. See if the this thing has been sitting out in the sun. So this will easily easily fit here. I just want to make sure that the knob here. I don't want it pressing in and starting any gas flow. So that's the reason I'm going to push it back a little bit, and it'll still go back in here. Yeah, it's got plenty of room back there. Uh, now I'm ready to put the griddle on the wets. 
put the griddle on the way it's stored. And the way it's stored is like this right here. And uh, so it goes in fine. Uh, so then also when, it, when you're cooking, it goes like this. And so it goes like that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a thing to go right here to keep the heat diverted away from here. I don't want any heat going right here. Uh, even though the stove before, it had a little thing on it. So I'm gonna have a little thing to made that'll snap right under these two holes right here and it'll divert uh, away from the whole unit right here. All right, what I'm doing now is drilling screws down to secure it so it won't move around in here, but bounce around. All right, so now I'm gonna run screws down through here to secure this to the base. Okay, that's nice and solid there. This will go in here like so. This will go in here like so. This will go on here. And we have a completed project. Okay, I am tickled with the installation. It fits perfectly. If this video has helped you in any way, uh, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I'm going to be producing several more videos on how to and all kinds of campground reviews and things like that. Uh, and so I hope you will subscribe. If you would like to be notified, please hit the notification bell there and it'll notify you the next time I upload a video. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the road.